Okay, so uh, good morning. I received a request from uh, someone to actually do a explanation or tutorial on how to uh, transfer an outfit that has an existing rig and do a, a, a rig transfer from the figure to the clothing while retaining the original rig, right? So uh, let me import the outfit. So I have this uh, shirt outfit and the obj okay so basically what happens is i have this shirt that has uh, these tassels uh, hanging at the back so these have the a, a rig already so i can actually uh, move this around so these have existing rigs so what i want to do now is i want to actually do a transfer from the figure to the outfit so that you will retain all the outfit. Um, you can do a transfer to make the outfit follow the figure while at the same time keeping the original rig uh, intact. Okay, so first thing I will do is uh, do a transfer over from the MMD model to the outfit itself. So what this does is that it will transfer the rigging, original rigging, from the MMD to the OBJ. And the reason why you want to do this, right, is because our uh, MMD actually has a, uh, when you export as MMD, you will, they will actually rip the model apart based on the UV, which uh, you do not want. So that's the reason why I want to keep it as a, a OBJ. Okay, so align the, the bones and uh, memorize this and memorize the figure rigging. Okay, so with this, the figure rigging has been become the default. Okay, so uh, there are some bones that you don't want in this particular case. So I will do, I will delete off some of the bones that is not, uh, not necessary. Okay, so delete. Okay, so these are the bones that you want to keep. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a transfer utility, transfer from the figure, which in this case is a Genesis 8 figure, transfer the clothing. So current, current, and then I will do this uh, closest vertices, use the nearest vertices at 100%. Okay. And then, oh, sorry, sorry, before that, before that, I need to remove all this first. So what I'm going to do is uh, in the two selection under geometry editing, right? If I go to the face group and I go to the pelvis, I'll select the pelvis. This is the bones that has all everything parent to it, right? So everything else, which is the accessories here, uh, they are, they actually are the bones that I want to retain. So what I will do is I will go to geometry visibility and hide unselected polygons. Okay. So now that the unselected polygon, which is all this down here, they are all hidden. So only the selected polygons will, will have their rigging transferred over, right? So uh, this is what I'll do. Then I will do the figure, the outfit, and current, current, okay, closest selection. And this is the part that's very important. Respect hidden facet in uh, on target as well as merge hierarchy. So this tool needs to be thick, right? Then I will do a reverse source. Okay, so what this does, right, is that merge hierarchy will merge the existing skeleton to the figure skeleton. Okay, then respect hidden facets. So instead of uh, converting the the hidden facets, the weight map to the figure weight map, it will actually respect the hidden facets, which means to say that it will retain the weight weight map, which is what we want, right? Okay, so after this, I will click on the button, and then they will actually run through. Uh, the transfer process okay and then now i will do a show all polygons so you have all the polygons and then i will do a, a, a morph uh, for the outfit so that it will go back to its default so you can see that uh, some parts in the of the of the outfit will it will actually be a bit distorted when you do the transfer so this one will actually return it back to its original shape Okay, so now you have two skeletons. 
So you have the pelvis here, which is the original, and this is the transferred rig um, bones. Okay, so you have them here. You can actually move this around, right? And the outfit will follow as per normal. But you will also have the this transfer accessories parts, right? So the accessories are still working as per normal. Okay, so next, what you want to do is uh, currently the selection is actually uh, you the what do you call it? If you look at the geometry editor, your outfit accessories uh, selection are gone. So you can either select the uh, you can either select these these uh, parts and then redo the selection. So let me hide the hair. And redo the selection. So say for example, uh, if I go to this part here and I go to this accessory and I can see the parts that is um, that, that is supposed to be that has the weight, I can actually go to this uh, geometry and then I put it put them back again. Okay, so assign this. And then I can go down the list and clear the and uh, put back all the the selection to its proper position. I can do it like this and then I'll just go all the way down and assign all properly right so that is um, one way to fix this if you if the item that you are doing is a small item you can do this right alternatively there's another way which is to uh, import your rigged clothing which is the MMD version so import the rigged clothing back again Okay, so now you have this with the the, the proper um uh weight map and this which is the one that is the default uh outfit. Okay, so you can do a transfer utility MMD and then the outfit. So same thing, closest near vertices and adaptive tolerance, and then you deselect the weight map. Okay, so after you deselect the weight map, then you uh, you keep the rest. Uh, you don't actually need more targets. And the face selection and the selection map and the face group, these are the two that you really want. Okay, so you untick this two and then you click OK. Okay, so now you'll see that all the bones will actually be transferred back. Okay, so now you can delete this part and you could, you will select uh, when you select this, it's still under the pelvis. So what you do next after this is you can actually select the pelvis, right? And then do a reparent bone. So you reparent the, the original rig to the figure rig. In this case, the pelvis bones. Okay, then you click accept and okay. And then delete the bone. Okay, so now the accessories is connected to the figure pelvis bones and they are all still they are all still there right and then the best of all is uh you can select you can still select the the other parts and they will still move as per normal right so no problems there whatsoever so using this method you can actually do that and uh yeah so this is the, the the way that i'm currently using to transfer uh existing rigs over to a figure uh to a clothing that that you retain the, the existing rig okay so uh thanks for watching uh i'll see you in the next video whenever that is goodbye